Yeah, it's obviously great to be back, um, see all the boys, and then obviously a tough session, but yeah, it feels good to, to put the boots back on. I so just be two things I reckon is really important, them to be challenged in this environment, but also to be supported. I weigh the boys uh, in the mornings for two reasons, mainly because I track it over the week, so I have three morning weights for them, um, and then I track that average over the pre-season week, so from pre-season week one to week 12. And then also around each session, I weigh the boys before the session um, and then immediately after to try and calculate their fluid loss during the session. And then I can feed back to them immediately a number for them to rehydrate with. So I might say, okay, you lost a kilo, it's time to rehydrate with one and a half liters of fluid. exciting to be back on board for pre-season for 2020. Uh, we got a 2k at first start, so the boys are uh, really excited to rip into that one. Uh, and then just a combination of some skill work and, and some more conditioning work. So, big session and a big week ahead. Yeah, it's obviously great to be back, um, see all the boys. And then obviously a tough session, but yeah, it feels good to, to put the boots back on and be out in the track. And you know, Lakeside's looking really fresh and happy to run pretty well and train well. Yeah, footy's been unreal. A lot of the, a lot of the young boys have been really impressive, but um, yeah, footy killed the 2K just and won the 400s by about 10 lengths. So um, yeah, footy's killing it, and um, he's obviously done a lot of the off, off season. So yeah, good on him. Pretty good yesterday. What what did you talk to me about your off season? What did you do yeah. to get yourself in such good nick? Um, well, yeah, I just went back to Melbourne and. Um, kind of had nothing stopping me from training um, at home with my mum, so she kind of helped me eat well while she was cooking. Did, were you drinking alcohol at all? No, no, nah, nah, I stayed away from it. Still go to the pub and, and you know watch any sport with my mates, but yeah, I just kind of stayed away from the alcohol and um, wanted to stay fit and ready to train. And so that's a conscious choice for your, your performance, basically. Yeah, yeah. I meet with them uh, initially and do all the body composition assessments. So I'll do their weight, height, skin folds, and then I'll follow up with them to see how they've gone over the off season. You know, have they had any big blowouts? Has there been too many big nights or takeaway food in there? And then what their goals are moving forward for the pre-season. Boys have started off really well. They've, they ran really well on Monday, so it's about continuing that now and making sure that footies is in the hands as much as possible. Um, and it's, I guess onwards and upwards. We do a lot out there, but there's a lot. Players have got a lot of things to work on themselves in here. Obviously, Zach foot grabs me all the time to do extra session, get the footies in the hands as much as possible. So, as I said, everyone's got little things to work on. Zach's been just working on his touch basically and making sure he's hitting his handball has been a big thing for him. Um, obviously, a big part of the game. Uh, so. Yeah, we, we probably come down here probably two or three times extra a week on top of everything else and sometimes we muck around and have a bit of fun, other times we take it a bit more seriously but um, there's always a certain edge to it and something that Zach's you know, got to work on or any player's got to work on a specific skill. Particularly as a development coach, I think the relationship of, we try and build with the players helps them to, we want them to be able to come to us whenever something's happening. So we've got me and there's also welfare, Dan Ryle's really good at it as well. We want the players to just be two things I reckon is really important, them to be challenged in this environment, but also to be supported. And we want to support them as much as possible, whether it's on field and off field. So I like to think that we can be a bit, a bit of a sounding board for them um, and really help them navigate through their careers.
been a little bit nerve-wracking last three or four weeks, sort of not knowing what's going on in that. But um, yeah, once I spoke to John and came up here and met everyone, it was um, yeah, it was good to finally get that out, out of the way and um, yeah, come up here today and looking forward to it. There's obviously a lot of young talent coming through and um, yeah, they've been great from what I've seen in the last few years and yeah, obviously Buddy, so I'm going to be pretty exciting playing with him. Um, watched him for many years and yeah, very impressive. So yeah, looking forward to getting in there and getting into it. So Courtney and I meet up once a month to plan the menus for the upcoming month um, and the reason for that is I might speak to her in terms of what nutrients I'm after for the, for the players um, and she'll turn that into a nice food form. So uh, for instance I might say you know I, I want to give them you know a dessert -y type thing uh, but I need it to be reasonably high in carbohydrate but also keep them full. We do Japanese and Italian. Yes, week one survived. Week one survived. So Monday next week, we've got 55. Back. One's got to go back, all right, if he's going to use his legs. So everyone's come back in good nick and um, yeah, like I said, I'm happy to be back in the routine. Fine. Lay on your back. 